Hello internet world, welcome to a new video on the Geekanoids channel. I have got some really cool cases here to show you for the Pixel 3 XL. Now the Pixel 3 XL is currently being tested in the studio at the moment. Uh, I'm going to be doing my full review of this particular smartphone. I would say probably in about another sort of four or five days time, something like that. So do stay tuned for that, you know, keep an eye out for that on the channel. Hit that subscribe button actually, because I'll probably do the whole review live. I'll show you some pictures and video I've been taking with the Pixel 3 XL as well. Now, it's probably common knowledge by now that the Pixel 3 XL isn't prone to scratching on the back but it's prone to marking on the back. So I've got three really good cases plus an accessory you're gonna really like for the Pixel 3 XL from none other than Rink. These are my three favorite cases. Uh, one of them, you, if you watch regularly, you'll know probably what it is, but I wanna show you these up close and personal. So I'm gonna to switch to the other camera. Before I do so, I wanna say a big hello to Sumu Nath, the local Aussie, Su Jao Preet Singh, uh, Golden Cheeseburger, Darren Gator as well. Thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, really good to see you all. It really is. So let's switch over and have a closer look at these particular uh, cases. Now, I'm using a different camera here as well for this particular section of the video. So I hope that you're uh, getting a good view of these cases. Uh, this first one is the Fusion X. Uh, now, I've actually left the protective film on here just so you can see the attention to detail that Rink actually make uh, when shipping these cases. So they come in really simple packaging, but they also put this protective film on the inside and outside of most of their clear cases so that they reach you in really good condition. Uh, I think that's a really nice touch and I really do like that. Now this particular one, the Fusion X, gives you a lot more grip on uh, the phone. It really does add to the grip. We've got raised edge buttons for the volume up and down and of course the power. And then on the opposing side, we've also got a little cutout just down here so that we can actually attach a uh, sort of wrist strap or lanyard. Uh, on the top edge, we've just got a little tiny pinhole there and obviously full access on the bottom to the USB-C charging port. On the back, of course, there's cutouts for the camera and the fingerprint sensor. So I think this is overall a really nice design. They've done a really good job of this. I love these sort of uh, inverted bits in the clear back. I think that looks really nice. And then there's just some subtle sort of branding down the bottom here. So really good case, very, very good indeed. Uh, let's take this out of the case. Let's just turn this screen off and remove this particular one. I wanna show you another one, look at that. Pixel 3 XL, it looks really nice, but you can see some of the marks already building up on the back. Now the next case I want to show you is actually uh, one of my favourite cases, and this is uh, the Fusion. So this is the uh, Rink Fusion. This is what lives on most of my smartphones. In fact, it's my favourite case. I really do like it. And uh, this is the protective film. I want to just show you. You peel this off when you get the case and it means that you're receiving the case in pristine condition so we've peeled off the outside film that's very easy to get to the one inside is normally a little bit trickier because you have to go like up in a corner or round the sort of camera <laughs> this is this is the beauty of a live video here we go so we've just got our nail into that one there and then you peel off this and you've got a pristine dust free scratch free case very very nice indeed and then we can pop this into the case like so let's unlock it as well and we've got this really nice clear case let me just turn the brightness down on here a little bit just so you get a clearer view so we've got obviously the notch is present on the front i haven't hidden that yet i'm seeing if i can learn to live with it but but basically what the fusion case does from rink is it actually gives you a really nice view of the phone uh, through the case so you're still seeing the design and i think that's the reason i like this case so much and i'll come back to it time and time again we've got cutouts on the back there you have to excuse the reflections but cutouts on the back for the fingerprint sensor and of course the camera we also got these tiny little sort of nodules on the corners and this is great because it means when you put your phone down on a table, you've still got a little bit of airflow underneath, 
we've also got this raised edge profile on the front so a little tiny bit of a raised edge profile so if you're putting this sort of flat down onto a desk or a table or any surface the screen isn't going to touch that surface we've also got the raised edge buttons for volume up and down and a little bit of a um, uh, sort of a little bit of a detailing on here a uh, different sort of texture to the uh, power on off button and of course access to the um, USB-C port so overall really nice case I do like this one a lot it's a very very good option so I will show you the last case uh, before I come back into the uh, live chat and take some of your questions and comments uh, let's just pop that one to one side now this last one is I believe um, called the Onyx so this is the Rink Onyx this one goes really nicely with the black colored Pixel 3 XL it almost looks like a metal case uh, very very nice texture to it as you can see a slight slope going down to the fingerprint sensor which leads your finger into here it's a really nice way of doing things we've got some branding down the bottom edge here and then we've also got some uh, more texture top and bottom it's a very very comfortable uh, case to hold uh, it's not as grippy as the other ones but still very very comfortable to hold and of course we've got these integrated buttons for the the uh, volume and also the power on and off I think it's just a, again a very very nice uh, case very very nice indeed uh, Rink do some amazing cases they also do some accessories which brings me on nicely to showing you the last thing in this particular video let's just pop that on there for now and that's uh, this cable which is actually a USB-C to USB-C cable we don't see these very often but these are very handy uh, for USB-C smartphones especially when you're using them with some of the latest battery chargers which are USB-C on the opposing end a lot of fast chargers are also USB-C and also in addition to that um, a lot of uh, a, a lot of computers sort of ultrabooks macbook pros etc are also USB-C so it saves you having to use an adapter at the other end so a really nice braided cable again from Rink I think they've done a fantastic job on all of these accessories but now I think it's time to take a look back in the uh, live chat and talk to you a little bit more about the Pixel 3 XL and these cases. Uh, we've also got in the live chat um, the local Aussie. Almost all companies seem to be riding on the notch bandwagon thoughts. Uh, I've talked to you about this before in my videos. Um, I don't like notches. I still, <laughs> I still, I'm really sorry. Nice smartphone. Uh, even the iPhone I'm currently using, the iPhone 10s Max. Nice smartphone. Uh, the OnePlus 6T, great smartphone, but all of them have got notches in varying sizes. Uh, I don't like the trend either. I think um, they could have found a better solution. I would much rather have a bezel up there uh, and have a straight edge to the screen. That's just my personal opinion. Uh, Adam Cooley, does it still support wireless charging? Yes, the Pixel 3 uh, XL does support wireless charging and I've tested it with all three of these cases on and the wireless charging works fine through the cases as well. A big hello to Aaron Stoy as well. Thank you very much for tuning in. I do want to ask you a question actually and, and to do this question I think um, just a little bit of research on my part. Let me just change cameras again and uh, if I can do this with my left hand. I just want your opinion on this uh, new camera that I'm using. I'll be doing a video uh, about the new camera very very shortly but what I really like about this camera is I can bring things up really close to the lens and hopefully focus in. Let me turn the, um, the light off on the camera. I can bring it up nice and close and then refocus and it gives you a real close look at the screen. Just look at that and I can do that even with this you can see this really nice braided cable from Rink if I bring this up nice and close and then refocus you get a really good look at the uh, quality of the cable it's still focusing on the box isn't it here we go let's try that just look at the quality of this cable really nice braided cable from Rink absolutely superb and I just really appreciate some feedback on the quality of the second camera that I'm using now. This is a new product I'm testing 
and I'll be bringing you a video about it very, very soon. So any feedback you can give me in the, um, the live chat or indeed the comment section would be really appreciated. Uh, we've got some more comments coming. Aaron Stoy, been looking forward to this one, but missed the start. Sorry about that, Aaron. Uh, hopefully you can watch it back after the live broadcast. Uh, Darren Gator, I agree, bezels are better than the notch. And um, Darren Gates, a nice camera, but you could use a light on the left-hand side. Yeah, that is a difficulty because I've got studio light up here, studio light over there. I've also got the light coming in from the camera. You can see the product now. This is the, the camera I'm going to be doing the video on. I've not got really any room to actually put a studio camera here. I can turn the light on, to, on here and you can see the light coming down from the camera. So it does help a bit full review of this coming soon anyway uh, gritty shaker saying pixel 3 has the worst notch yeah it has the biggest notch definitely but overall it's a really nice smartphone and something worthy of protecting if you have invested in a new smartphone i think it's really important to put it in the case and get a screen protector on it wrinkle do also do screen protectors as well so it's well worth checking those out i've left a link down in the uh, video description area to where you can check out the Rink website for yourself and also links to where you can pick up your very own Rink case for your Pixel 3 or Pixel 3 XL. So please do check out those links. Uh, Darren Gator, who is that one of those streaming gadgets? It is indeed. It is indeed. Video coming soon on that. Thanks very much for watching everyone. I really do appreciate it. Have a fantastic day wherever you are and I'll see you all in the next one.